Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look again at the Ad Games Legend Connect. But this video, we are not going to focus on the main work because I already did a video about it. Just I wanted to show you what you can do with this because I think with the Ad Games Connect, we can do so many awesome things. So in this video, we are going to assemble this main board inside an arcade one up. I'm just going to show you how you can do it and what you're going to need for it because you cannot plug and play it in your arcade of course for the people that are familiar with bonding and arcade one up nevertheless i already did some reviews and some let's say modifications on the arcade one up like a raspberry pi pandora's box you name it but i've never used an ad games inside an arcade one up and you if you're thinking why should you even bother doing this i can tell you there are some really cool things you can do with this board that you can do with a raspberry pi or with a pandora's box Okay, so in my previous build video, I talked about the Pandora Box CX inside the arcade one up and showed you exactly how you need to do this. But basically what you're going to need is not this cable. You can use the on and off switch, of course, and what you're normally going to get with this Pandora Box. But you're going to need the Cable 3 or the Cable Harness that they call it in China. Because this Cable Harness is basically the same connection like your Legend Connect. And of course you can use a converter for your joystick if needed. But okay, so let's do a quick overview. In my case, I removed all of my Cable 3 and of course the original encoder board. We're not going to need an encoder board because more like the encoder board inside the Legend Connect like a Pandora's box, so that's very convenient. That's the reason why you need the Cable 3. In my case, in my previous build, I removed the joystick simply because this thing, I needed to do a lot of soldering, getting this thing to work. So I just removed it and replaced it with two new Chinese joystick. I also added some two additional buttons with the Pandora box, we're going to need this for the coin and we're going to need it for the pause menu. But with the Ad Games Legend, you can reconfigure it for other functions from the Ad Game Legend Connect. So the joystick is something you don't need to replace necessarily. But in the end, I recommend it because I personally don't like the Arcade One Up original joystick. Or you're going to have a version with some of joysticks and buttons, of course. But mine is just an old version Street Fighter, so nope, it didn't have it. And for the fellow modders who didn't know, if you want to connect something with your arcade one up, you're going to need a special board for your monitor. As you can see over here, we're not going to use all the parts, but now we can also ingest the monitor itself. And we can hook up the Ad Games Legend Connect with the HDMI connection. So take a consideration, you're also going to need this board for modifying. And also what I think is pretty cool, you can now adjust the brightness and the contrast, everything of the monitor itself. All right, so we're going to need to remove this protection cap over here simply because it will contain the main board that we need to remove because we're not going to use the original part same for the control panel but also for the monitor we need to remove it all and we need to assemble the tiny board so we can connect the hdmi and i can't say it enough be careful when you're pulling it out so you know exactly where you need to put all of the cables otherwise you will have a defect or i don't know maybe you're even going to ruin the pcb board so be careful with assembly and of course, if you have added everything, we're ready to hook up the Ad Games Legend Connect. But nevertheless, this is a crucial part that we're going to need for this modification for the Ad Games Legend Connect. But if you're having already a Pandora work built inside your arcade machine, this is very easy to replace. It's just only a plug and play with a couple of cables and you're ready to go. So as you can see, we're using the HDMI, the internal speaker and the ADA connection over here. Okay, I'm going to show you with the Ad Games Legend Connect. I'm going to give you a quick overview. You can ev everything can be assembled like the same way. I really like it. I will use a jumper, so I don't need an on and off switch. So when I'm turning on the power of the arcade connect, we're going to have the Ad Games Legend Connect inside the arcade one-up machine. All right, so here you can see that it's booting up. It works like a charm, but I will explain to you what will the Legend Connect bring us. Okay, so let's talk about the games first. So this is a very important thing, of course. Sadly, it only comes with 20 games built in. And the reason why, due of copyright licensing. To keep this board very cheap, they have chosen to give us a couple of games, and a lot of good games in my opinion, but only 20 games. So that is also more like a setback, but another thing, I can understand it. But okay, so we're having 20 games. What kind of games are we going to get? So the games are more like a mix of everything. There are some crappy games. Games are thinking, why would you even put it on here? But what I think is not a really good choice. For example, we're having Drift Out. I really love Drift Out from Neo Geo. Same goes from Breakers Revenge. 
But Break Revenge and Breakers basically are exactly the same games with some minor improvements. And the same goes with the Drift games. So we're having 5 of 20 games that are more like a double game, in my opinion. But okay, enough about the games, because this is not the biggest awesome thing about the software. The reason why I really like the software of the ad games at the moment is very simple. We have not only the arcade net where you can have this monthly subscription, but not let's say the biggest positive thing, where you can stream stuff from the servers. You also have bring your own games, so if you want to be naughty, you can use the coin of X. Still, you need to do it yourself, but it is an option they are going to give you. The settings, there are a lot of stuff you can check out. You can also have wireless pairing. So when you're looking at it, there are so many ways you can use this mainboard. And I think that will make this ad game mainboard a lot better than other stuff like Pandora's boxes. But when you're putting the mainboard inside an arcade one-up machine, an original machine, or I mean with this, the original monitor, I do this modification with the cable harness from a Pandora's box. I think it's pretty cool in my opinion, but it gives you only 20 games. I think where this mainboard stands out between the Pandora's box, we're having so many new ways, like the coin ops naughty way. We can stream from the Steam, you can stream from the arcade net. So that gives you a completely new way to play. I am not a fanboy, but what I do like about the software is they are bringing this to the next level where, for example, the Pandora boxes are just stopping and struggling for all these years now. Okay, I will give you a quick example. This is the quick menu where you're going to get with some games you can quick load, quick save, sadly not with this version. But what I do like about it is the display mode. We are all complaining about the aspect ratio like this with the Pandora's boxes. But with the game software that is included with all the other devices, they have the option to choose how you want to have your aspect ratio. And the same goes for the, for the scan lines. You have them horizontal, vertical, or you can just put them off. And I think that is just amazing that they're giving you all of these options. But there is something you just need to know. It's not really a downside, but when you were using it on the right screen, it's very cool with the side bandage. It will force it into the original expert ratio of the new Geo game back in the day. So it's just great. Like with another device like Raspberry Pi, you can also do this. So it's just an awesome way in combination with the scan lines. But of course, I am using the 7 inch 4x3 monitor. And sadly, it's not a real good combination with the sidebar. I think it doesn't look really hideous, but again, you can change it all out if you want to. So with the Ad Games Legend Connect, we have so many options and I think it's just great to play it like this. So I just wanted to give you this quick modification what you can do with the arcade one up. Of course you can do it with another arcade machine. I think the potential with this mainboard, especially with the streaming service and all of those things you can do with it. Not with the 20 games, maybe in the future I'm hoping they will give us more like a deluxe edition with more games like for example the full arcade machine. But I thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become on the Wicked family and we'll see you in the next video.